Hi guys, I know you're seeing a bunch of junk on my screen, but I am so excited. This is something I have been waiting about three months for. And um, I'm going to be giving you my first impression of Montal's Mucalat. So this is the package I have here. I did open it on the side just to make sure it was in there. But I haven't opened any wrapping, so I'm open, gonna be opening it up from this side because I don't want you to see where I live. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly talk about it as I'm opening it. So this fragrance is by created by Pierre Montal, and he's only had his own fragrance house called Montal, and he also owns the fragrance house called Mansara. He hasn't done anything for any designers as a perfumer. He was a perfumer for. Uh, royal families in, um, in uh, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Qu uh, Quitter or <laughs> Quitar. <laughs> um, he was working there as well as in Dubai. And he created a lot of fragrances. And the fragrances that he made, his first fragrance, he didn't actually like it. Um, it was his wife who really fell in love with it. And that's what motivated him to keep on making fragrances, which was really nice. Um, so this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. It is a warm and spicy vanilla fragrance, and um, he has a really vast collection. He has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fragrances. This is my first Montal fragrance that I've ever um, got. Oh, so it comes in a little bag. That's pretty cool. And I got this from Fragnite, which is a website from Russia. And this website, um, took a really long time to come. Look at this bag, that's pretty cool. So I have gloves on because I want to make sure that I clean everything um, because it's being shipped, it's been touched by a lot of people so I just want to be sure that I'm going to be okay. Um, so this fragrance um, was created in 2008 and the top notes are wild strawberries and almonds, middle notes are balsam, Peruvian balsam, and vanilla and the base notes are white musk so there's not a lot of musk uh, sorry a lot of notes in it and there that's what it looks like here there's that pin that everyone's talking about I know some people don't like this thing but I think it's good because if you're traveling it prevents it from spraying out because as you can see the sprayer is right here and I'm going to take an antiseptic wipe and I'm going to clean the outside of this This is the bottle here. It's got this like tin kind of bottle in it. Now I did order a small size and from this website it has cost me about 33 Canadian. That's without the shipping and I paid a bit of duty but it wasn't too bad. I got the 20 mil because I've heard some people say that this is a polarizing scent but for me I um, I felt that um, I really wanted to give it a try. And then they also have a hundred mil for around fifty dollars. Um, so I'll put give you the link of that website below in the description box. Okay, so I have my antiseptic wipe. I'm gonna take off my gloves now. And we're finally gonna give this a try. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So I heard that this smells a little bit like plastic. I don't know exactly how, but I'm going to give it just a couple, not shake, just. You know, mix it around a bit because that's could have been sitting on our shelf for a while. And spray it. All right, guys, let's give this a try. Oh, interesting. Okay, so first note I smell is strawberry for sure. And a little bit like almonds. Uh, so uh, Pierre Montal, he made a lot of things that were inspired by Arabian scents. Um, yeah, this smells like a fake strawberry. <laughs> That's what I've heard a lot of people say about it. Um, I do smell a little bit of the vanilla and some white musk. I definitely smell the balsam, which I think the balsam is what's giving it that plasticky smell. It's really weird because I... I'm getting this feeling like in my throat as I'm smelling it. Very strange. Hmm. 
it's different. It's very, very different. I don't think I have anything that smells like this. Um, apparently, the projection is really good. All his fragrances are known as beast modes. Um, yeah, actually, I'm starting to really like it. As it's drying down, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm liking it a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to spray it on my skin. And we're going to come back up six hours. And I'm going to tell you what it smells like after six hours. So... And all of his fragrances are Eau de Parfum. So I'm gonna let this dry a bit. So it's really weird. It's not that sweet, to be honest with you. I don't know why a lot of people say it's sweet. There's a lot of high oil content in that, as you can see. Um, I think the quality is actually pretty good. Um, let's go back to the paper and smell that. So it's getting a little bit sweeter. Kind of smells, I can smell more of the almonds now. And so on my wrist, let's give it a sniff. Hmm. It's getting a little weird, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it's something a lot of people in North America might appreciate. I'm going to be honest with you. Nothing against them or anything. It's just, it's not that... It's not that fruity floral smell. It's really not. And this is marketed as unisex fragrance. And I think men and women can wear it for sure. But I don't hate it. It's really strange. I mean, I don't know what to think of it. I really think it's like a work of art. It's very um, subjective. I don't imagine myself getting a lot of compliments from this. But I do think there will be the odd person that might find it an interesting smell. But it's getting a bit sweeter as it's drying down on my skin. But it's so, like you can see, it's quite oily. Yeah, it's taking a while to dry. All right, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to let you know after six hours how it performs, all that stuff. See ya. Hi guys, I'm back. So it's been six hours. I've been wearing this fragrance and some of the oil has dried and um, the oiliness is because of the Peruvian balsam. It's an oily resin type of fragrance, um, fragrance ingredient. So it's like myrrh and frankincense. Like it comes all from like a tree. Um, so what do I think about this? This bottle's fun to do this. <laughs> uh, I really like it. Yeah, that is my final conclusion. It is really, really interesting fragrance. On my skin, it's getting like sweet and more that strawberry is coming out, but it smells like a strawberry candy or strawberry, um, like a strawberry scented lip smacker something synthetic obviously um since a lot of people have said that uh that's what i smell for sure and every single time i smell it i get this like weird like feeling in my throat like i said before it probably due to the high oiliness of peruvian balsam but um it also has like a touch of like a woody kind of smell to it because it does smell a little bit woody um uh, yeah, the strawberries definitely more than anything else is what I smell. The white musk, I barely smell that. And the vanilla for sure. And the almonds as well. I really, really am liking it a lot. Oh, it's so unique and it's really interesting. So definitely um, see if you can get yourself this. It's really hard to get samples. And a lot of people, they overcharge when it comes to samples. Um, in Canada, we do have Montal in a couple niche um, specialty perfume shops, but um, they don't have this one. They have Chocolate Greedy and uh, Rose's Musk, like those are the more popular ones. So I'm really wanting to try Chocolate Greedy. I'm very much into chocolate. It's got a lot of heavy tonka beans in it, and you guys know I love tonka beans, I'm judging by my name. So this is not too bad. And as for the lasting power, the lasting power is there. It's, I don't say it has a lot of projection, there is a siage to it, um, but um, it's not very, um, like, it's not that heavy. It's really not. Um, I thought it would be a lot heavier, but um, 
it's it's not at all it's like kind of a bit of a skin scent but I can kind of like if I take this paper and I wave it around my nose I get whiffs of it and I smell like a like a strawberry vanilla kind of thing it doesn't really smell like strawberry almond cake pastry thing it's not that kind of smell it's like a plasticky synthetic strawberry and it's really really special and um, I highly recommend that you try it if you want something that is fruity not too sweet and uh, something very very unique so I hope you have a great day and stay safe bye bye